Dear friends, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Varen uh, for uh, setting up the session and also organizing the conference of the White Night of Oncology. And thanks a lot for this opportunity. Uh, actually, I didn't plan to give a talk here uh, because uh, at least there was a very good one, uh, good clinical presentation. They, you, they asked me to give some uh, sort of talks on economy. And I will tell you what's going on from the, uh, from the point of view of economy, how it happens and how we're moving forward. Briefly speaking, we spent four years to erect, to build our center. And after four years of uh, sort of uh, design works and uh, construction works, we, uh, we, 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 we launched. And uh, we started almost with two gantry. Uh, commissioning was very fast for two gantry. Just uh, first gantry was commissioned in uh, uh, four and a half weeks. Second gantry also was about four weeks. So we managed to start rapidly. And first year we treated about 200 patients. 200 patients, it seems not many, but hundreds of them were children, and half of those children required uh, an, a general anesthesia or some anesthetic assistance. We understood that we were not ready to that amount of uh, uh, anesthesia uh, load, and we had to rebuild our anesthesia service, and we had to rebuild it uh, from scratch, so to say. And uh, currently, the work according to the most modern, uh, so to say, uh, standards. Then the second year, 2019, we treated 400 patients, and number of children was also a bit less than 50 percent, about 100 anti children a number of Anastasias was uh, about the same and I would like uh, somehow mentioned how it was funded it's very important uh, as you mentioned as it was mentioned the funding is important because to treat people we need money and uh, we uh, our design was a strategic project for St. Petersburg and St. Petersburg uh, promised to fund some some of our patients uh, to use proton therapy and the city actually did it and the, during the first year we got 100 quarters to treat uh, uh, to treat 100 patients, adult and children uh, with the use of proton therapy of course we used those quarters and St. Petersburg turned to be the first city in the world as far as I know where all children requiring proton therapy were able to get it free meaning free for themselves, but not free for the city, and the city paid for that treatment. Uh, and the other 60, 70 patients paid, uh, was pa it was paid by uh, various uh, charity funds, and about 30 patients out of the first 200 were uh, foreign medical tourists. The next year, we had 400 patients, 200 kids, and... Uh, uh, this program uh, was joined by Moscow. Moscow also paid for another 100 quarters. Uh, so 100 people from St. Petersburg, 100 from Moscow, uh, charity funds and medical tourists. Everything changed in 2020 when uh, this uh, pandemic started. We had two problems. First, not to let COVID in our centers not to let it in. And so to say, and the other problem was to uh, so to say, was to use properly uh, those uh, federal uh, budgets which were allocated to us. We were allocated with 600 uh, federal quarters. These quarters were provided only in the mid-May, and it was a challenge for us because uh, Russian doctors uh, know what it means, what to get plan, but to uh, get it not in the f January, f uh, not in the first of January, but in the somewhere almost in the middle of the year. But this year, uh, it was uh, our peak. I think we'll never treat more. We treated uh, 800. 890 patients with two gantry, and I forgot to mention we ha we have two uh, dosimetry equivalent rooms uh, with probim uh, probim uh, scanning. In those two rooms, uh, in peak time, we treated up to 90 patients a day, so 45 fractions a day, various fractions. The treatment time depending on what we treated will varied a lot for patients with uh, neurotumors it could be about 15 minutes for patients with uh, craniospinal irradiation sometimes uh, this time 
was more than one hour or even one one hour 20 minutes so our team work in a very intense manner sometimes we left our clinic even at 3 a.m. but nevertheless we managed to treat up to 90 persons a day so 2021 uh, thanks God this year federal uh, budgeting was done properly much earlier so we could start this treatment since uh, February uh, first of February so I think this year we'll treat up to 800 patients approximately we and uh, another important thing out of those 880 whom we treated we, there was 350 ch children and about uh, 50 of them required anesthesia so of course it doesn't speed up the process it makes it more complex more complicated uh, it slows it down slows down the procedure and uh, brings us some more of responsibilities. And I think this year it will be 800 patients, about 350, maybe up to 400 ch children. We treat lots of head and neck uh, tumors. We treat a lot of left side uh, breast cancer and right side breast cancer. Not many of prostate cancers. We do treat lungs, neurotumors. So we have a... Uh, uh, big spectrum of uh, diseases to be treated. We accumulate in experience. Three years is uh, quite a small experience. We'd like to thank to the University of Pennsylvania who actually supervised and helped us.